Hi, this video will feature a pair of bunnies on an Easter card. This card features pattern paper that I created myself and if you follow the links in the comment section you can watch the video where I made this paper and you can learn how to do it yourself. I also have a little glitter paper and a little carrots and I've done a little cutting out of the bunny ears to make them stand out a little bit from the die cut. The inside of the card is very simple. I just have used the colors on the outside and put a little flowers. Let me go over the materials that I used for this card. I start out with a card base cut eight and a half by five and a half, scored at four and a quarter. A green mat cut four inches by five and a quarter. A white strip cut two and a half by three. A yellow strip which is two and a half by three. A small white strip which is one inch by two inches. This is a little bit longer than you need. A little bit of gold glitter strip. This is half an inch by about two inches. And the pattern paper which I have mentioned before. I created this pattern paper very easily by just stamping all the, the different stamps directly on to the paper. And as I mentioned, the link is down below. I'm using VersaFine Onyx Black, Memento Dandelion, Tangelo, Bamboo Leaves. I'm also using the Sizzix Banners Framelits. I keep my framelits and dies on adhesive back magnetic paper to keep them all together. I have some dollar stamp sets that I'm using uh, here. I have a sentiment that says Happy Easter and I also have <clears throat> the flowers. I had two of the same stamp sets so what I did was cut the stamp in half so I separated the sentiment from the flowers so I could use it separately. This doesn't hurt the stamp at all to cut it as long as you're careful. I'm clearing away this stuff and I'm going to start right into the card. The first thing I want to do is cut out the banners. So I've taken the banner die out of the pack and I'm taking the two pieces of white and yellow and I'm going to run them over to my Big Shot. As you see here, the paper sizes that I gave are a lot bigger than is needed to make sure that you have enough room. So I'm going to do this with a big shot. Now that I have the banners, I'm going to stamp the bunnies onto the white. I'm using the yellow to help me make sure that I have the, the uh, stamp in the right place. And I did. So I'm stamping it with the VersaFine to make sure that I get a good impression. And I'm using the Misty in case I didn't get a good impression the first time that I could just re-stamp it. So I want this, this uh, panel so that the ears and the feet hang over. So I'm taking my pencil and using my grid paper and I'm drawing a very light pencil line one quarter inch in from both sides being sure not to drive, draw, draw it across the stamping. You could trim this using your paper trimmer, but I have not uh, found I had good luck, so I'm just doing this with a pair of scissors. Once I finished one side, I just flipped it over and did the other side. Now the trimming is done, I'm going to start in on the watercoloring. The watercoloring is very simple and I'm doing a really easy job and I'm going to speed this part up so that you don't have to watch it and the video is shorter. After I get all the colors laid out the way I want it, then I'll take my aqua pen and blend out the colors.
Since the watercoloring is so simple on this, I'm not going to spend a lot of time talking about how I did it. And I also stamped the carrots and I did a little watercoloring on that also. Notice I had to wait a little bit for the carrots to dry so that I didn't smear the black ink when I brought in the, the coloring. Now I'm going to trim the white strip with the carrots to the same size as the glitter paper. So I'm taping the glitter paper to the back of the carrots and then I'll tr turn it over and trim it that way rather than guessing and then missing the cut. Glitter paper tends to not want to stick so you have to apply a little bit extra tape to make sure that it will actually stay put and not come off. I'm taking my distress marker and I'm darkening up the edges of the paper. This will make it stand out a little bit from the background. Now to attach the white panel to the yellow panel, I want it to be a little bit up from the bottom so I have to tape it and hold it so that I have an evenly spaced margin along the bottom of the paper. And then after I get it where I want it, I'll just take a pair of scissors and trim the white strip off from the top. It's a very quick and easy way to get a matte background on two same size die cuts. And I realized that I didn't blend out the color on the banner, so I quickly fixed that. And now to move on to card assembly. Taking my ATG gun, I'm going to adhere the panel, the pattern paper to the mat. Making sure I have a good bit of tape on the car on the carrot part, I tape that to the front panel, and now I move on to pressing a good seam on the card base and assembling it. Unfortunately, I didn't notice how much tape I had left on my ATG gun, and it ran out while I was taping this down. So I have to take a break to re refill that gun. And through the magic of television, I'm back in business. Tape the panel to the front of the card. The panel of bunnies, I want to pop that up on my phone tape. So I'm putting a good bit on the back to give it stability. And now I'm going to move on to working on the inside of the card. I have a sentiment that says Happy Easter, which I stamp in the VersaFine. And I wanted to stamp the flowers in orange and green and yellow, but I was moving too quick and when I went to stamp the, the orange, I dropped the stamp right on the inside of the card. And you see me going, oh no. But I, I decided to just continue with the video and make a new card without that mistake later. You see me try to see if I could compensate for it and add a little bit of orange on top of it, but it just looked messy. So I made the card again. And this is why I always work on the inside of the card before I adhere the outside panel. Because I made this mistake, it was very easy to just grab another piece of white and make it again. You see me assemble the whole card, but I really did make this card again. I really didn't want to live with the, the way it was. So I take the bunny, pa the bunny banner and make sure that it is evenly spaced between the left and the right. And I take my sparkle pen and sparkle up the dress of the bunny and the little bow tie for the bunny boy. I have to be sure to wipe the brush between uh, colors so that I don't contaminate one to the other. And I also sparkled up the banner a little bit.
And that's the finished card. It went together very quickly. This was a very short video. Please try to recreate this video, your, this card yourself with whatever stamps you had. I appreciate everyone's interest in my channel. Please subscribe. I try to turn out content pretty frequently. Thanks for watching and have a good day.